on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Okay, first things first. How do the Blades of Chaos even get to the micro world? Well, as some of you may imagine, Kratos has actually tried to get rid of the Blades of Chaos before. The only thing is, they've always found a way to locate him and be there whenever he would need them. Or at least, when his anger willed them to his side. I just say before he went to Midgard, he tossed them aside another time. One last time. And yeah, he didn't wrap them up and put them on the floor. He didn't acquire them. But they did lock on to someone else. Someone who has deep-seated, repressed rage and anger. As you can imagine, that is our Izuka Midoriya. Because you can't tell me that he hasn't held some resentment towards Bakugo. And as well as other people when it comes to quirks. Much to the point where... The only reason why he really wanted one was to be like practically everyone else. But as the years went by, his resentment towards quirks as well as the people who mocked him, flaunting their quirks, using them for, uh, you know, not so nice purposes, you know, <clears throat> bullying and whatnot. Izuku has finally reached the breaking point. When was this breaking point? Well, it was right after All Might left. After saying he couldn't be a hero. That's what finally snapped. Because this time, the Slytherin didn't escape here. Izuku's dreams were crushed by the very hero whom he admired. But all that pent up rage is finally bubbling and uh, it blew. And uh, <laughs> Chaos Blaze being so drawn to such raw motion decided to make, okay, let's see, Kratos doesn't want us right now. He doesn't need us. He will sooner or later, but want to have fun with this guy. As Izuku hears the blaze call to him, whispering in his ear to come find them, to claim a power like no other, to pretty much, you know, that can dwarf the power of any hero, any villain, hell, quirk user in general. Izuku, not thinking straight, he follows the whispers. It's a, a dead, large tree. But as he gets closer to her, he notices this tree. It, it's different. It, look, it looks, it doesn't look like any of the others, dead or otherwise. It looks like he's been charred, set ablaze. As then, yes, Izuku, as he inches closer towards it, he sees flickers of amber running in, trying to stop it. He sees the blades. You. You're the, you're the voice I was hearing. And the blades are just constantly telling him to... Grab onto them and feel the power. Take what is rightfully his and become the strongest of all the champions. 
I mean, heroes. <laughs> He's like, oh, this is too good a deal to pass up. As soon as he grabs those handles, he feels burning sensation starts to encroach upon his arms. As he sees the scars, he sees the chains start to sear his skin. As he screams and howls in pain, he's like, what did you do to me? We gave you power. Why not test it out? As Zuku, he's looking at these blades. He's... Where'd you go from? That is not important. You have some training to do. If you want to prove any heroes or angry Pomeranians wrong, that is. So, yeah. Izuku, he runs home. Inko, luckily, is still wearing his uniform, so <laughs> Inko can't see them scars. And she does ask where he's been, because it is nighttime. The sun is down, so he's... I went for a walk. Ego already knows it's like, okay, something doesn't feel right. Are you alright? Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm fine. <sighs> I'm just a little tired. It's been a long day, you know. Okay, well, good night. As, yeah, Izuku, he takes the blades out of his backpack and he wonders like, okay, so how was I able to do that? What? How was I able to just, I mean, what are the chains? As then he sees them fade in and out of existence. Like, Wait, so I can retach and detach you? But still, the chains will be connected somehow. Wait, how does that work? It matters not. All that matters is that we've given you a golden opportunity. And you don't want to squander it, do you? <laughs> no. No. I, 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 I don't. Izuru is having a full-on conversation with the blades asking them god knows how many questions like where are they from what kind of power do they have etc etc in which it uh, uh is it good learning somewhat of the origin let alone the abilities that they're gonna allow him to use especially when it comes to being able to absorb the power of the gods Inko does knock on the door saying, who are you talking to? Like, um, no one, I'm just mumbling to myself. Oh, well, uh, uh, make sure you get some sleep. You, you know, you have, like, I know. <sighs> okay, so, the base power is fire? Yes. Okay. So, what can I really do with this fire? As yes, the the blades award him, at least endow him with power of basic pyrokinesis. It's up to Izuku to learn how he can really utilize it. We asked about the other powers such. So, Jazz, you know, lightning, ice, with all the elemental stuff. Dude, you're going to have to earn that. Right now, we'll give you a, 
uh, strength and dexterity boost and whatnot. What comes to you getting a hurt, however, that's completely up to you. What? <sighs> Your will must be strong enough to force yourself to heal. What? Your willpower can heal you. You just have to will it to do so. Can you do that? I... I I, it doesn't matter. Either way, yes. Your willpower has to be strong. Strong enough so that if you do die, you will will yourself back to life. Just like, yes, just like our previous user. <laughs> Why would he... What? Why would he what? Why would he just toss you aside? <sighs> we don't know. We've aided him for so many years. But, oh well. If he doesn't want to... Eh. He don't want to use us at the moment. He won't. But we'll always be there for him. We always have been. Always will be. Oh. What is it? So that means when he does need you again, you'll be gone forever? <laughs> Oh, sweet, sweet boy. You misunderstand us. He's still unimaginably powerful with or without us. That power in which he's utilizing no doubt as we speak... He is stronger than us. We just help unlock some of his boundless potential. Just as we're doing for you. You think I have boundless? Well, only one way to find out. Truly. Uh, uh. Mm. But it does seem as though you do require rest. We'll have to work on that. Wait, what? Go to sleep. We'll worry about training the next day. As yes, Izuku is excited as all hell. Even though, yeah, he does have to deal with the scars, he's like, okay, long stay search for life. You could just tell your mother about us. What? We can tell that you trust her deeply, but you do not want her to get harmed. What? Of course not. Good. Then don't you think it would be... More uh, helpful if she does know about the power you've been given. At least the power we've helped awaken within you. Uh, like, think of it like this. If you were given an ability, but this ability came with its own trials, hardships, such as a villain coming after you, wouldn't you rather she be prepared for such an inevitability? Uh, huh. 
I, uh, wow. Yes, yes. But if anything, I see it would actually be very helpful, just in case you, you know, could help you out in a certain way or something, or at least if you did have to deal with an enemy that was beyond this world, it would be nice if she could code for you or something, or at the very least support you in some way, don't you think? Wow, I... I didn't really think about that. Of course not. Well, there are plenty of things that no one's really thought about when it comes to certain situations. So yeah, Suzuku tells Ego about the Blaze of Chaos. She is horrified to see the burn scars on his arms. And ask if, are you sure she's safe? Are you sure you're going to be okay? Do I need a, a doctor or something? Is the, as the Blaze just pretty much tell Izuku what to say or give him explanations. Because as far as rage goes, Inko doesn't really have any. <laughs> no way to really communicate with the Blaze. Because if anything, let's say that's what they mainly use to not only locate potential users, but also to connect with them in a psychic-esque level. So yes, giving pretty much their word that yeah, your son's going to be fine. Believe me, you should be worried about the people who are going to fighting <laughs> and nothing else. So, I guess it's easy. Of course, of course. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, that's... that's uh, makes me feel better. Alright. Good, good. Now. Uh, Mom, I'm gonna be gone for a good long while, in which, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot of exercising. As yes, they do end up going to the Beach, but not only to exercise, but also to train Izuku when it comes to using the Blaze of Chaos. First thing first, he doesn't want to just really want to utilize the Blaze themselves. But it sure as hell be handy just in case they are required. And him not being used to, you know, weapons in general, let alone such a deadly one, he sucks at it terribly. It, I mean, it is sad as all hell. But one thing he is good at, surprising even the Blaze themselves, and manipulating the chains telepathically. It's when, it happens whenever he puts the blaze down, but he is in still control of the chains themselves. Think of how Ares in the game you manipulated the blaze of chaos to kill Kratos' family or whatnot. Or did that happen? Either way. It, same would go for Izuku. Him thinking about all the stories he's heard about how Kratos would utilize them. You know, yes, Kratos was a man on a mission. <laughs> Damn it. Izuku, he doesn't have the same amount of rage and hatred that Kratos had for the gods, all things considered. He's, he's had a he hasn't had a terrible, terrible life. He's, if anything, he's just had a, like, wow, that sucks kind of life. But, as he is training, he does get better with the blades. By five months, he's at least able to use them somewhat as a grappling device or instrument. 
And when it comes to the chains, he is gotten better at binding the garbage as well as crushing it. When it comes to the fire, he's actually a natural. Who would have guessed? Much to the point where when people do end up seeing him, he's doesn't like being watched. If anything, he really doesn't want people to know and start saying this is a quirk or anything. Even though he does have to register it as one, he hates it. He wants to show up. But not yet. He still wants to go UA. He knows about the sports festival. Where people can show off their quirks and abilities. And pretty much be broadcasted worldwide and everything. <sighs> I'm so tired. No you're not. What? Come on, I, your stamina may have gotten a boost, but you can keep fighting, you can keep training, use your willpower to power through the pain, to the point where there is no pain, there is no pain, come on, you can do it boy, I don't know if, come on, Get angry for me. What? Yes. Use your emotions. Get angry. Angry at all those naysayers. Angry that your best friend turned his back on you. The number one hero had no faith in you, did he? As yes, Izuku exhausted, he gets back up and he puts in two more hours of hard labor and training, training with the blades, training with the chains, the fire, to the point where when it's the ten months has ended and it's the start of the entrance exam, everyone has noticed the difference. Bakugo included. Izuku's become more stoic, more like I don't give a damn. And even when Bakugo does try to blow him up, Izuku, he just releases a, a heat wave and knocks Bakugo on his, his ass. I was like, wait, what the hell? How that? Where, how did you? Dude just goes into you wait like let me do this test so I can go home. Yeah, he's still about to go. They ain't even getting him the time of day right now. <sighs> Let's see here. As yes, he does pay good close attention to the whole explanation with the robots. And when it comes to Ida, you know, he, he's, he's Ida. He's going to ask, like, okay, what was the zero pointer? Ziggler's just, just like, uh, I'm sure he was going to explain that if you weren't so impatient. Uh, excuse me, but who are you? <sighs> no one of any consequence to you. One thing is, I want to get this whole exam over with. Uh, uh. <sighs> well, you didn't have to be rude about it. Pot, meat, kettle. As yes, he uh, is beyond best, as you can imagine. He's getting little like, dude, did you really just, who do you think you are? Izuku, that's what he's thinking. At the start, Izuku surprises everyone 
where he just flies at the doors and rips them open. Everyone's shocked at this. They're like, wait, are you going to disqualify him? It's like, I wasn't even going to say no race that go. You better, better do what he's doing. But by the time they got in there, a whole slew of robots had been completely annihilated. This time they see Izuku, they see chains that were wrapped around his arms just plow through several one pointers, two pointers, three pointers. Oh my, this is ridiculous. They see, why, how, how is he using. Wait, what's his quirk? Is it chain manipulation? Is it. Does he see it just blow up in fire? He's like, wait, does he use fire too? Wait, I thought he was just super strong. How is he doing this? So I know I'm looking at this like, wait, how. Who? Did he? How many quirks does this guy have? But no one is as surprised as All Might. Him looking down, seeing that's not possible. Well, was it Toshinori? That <clears throat> that kid. What about him? I thought he was quirkless. Hmm. Let me see. According to this, he's a late bloomer. Ooh. He seems as though he has a weapon summoning quirk as well as fire manipulation, super strength, and speed and whatnot. A healing factor as well. Impressive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I, I suppose. As then, now Sapphire is a pointer. And good lordy. Izuku seeing that, he starts getting flashes. I mean, multiple reenactments of Kratos going up against beastly monsters. Far exceeding his size. Is Zuku, he's standing tall, looking at this thing dead on as he runs towards it. Everyone else is running like hell away from it, looking at him like, what, is he crazy? Why is he, I think he's even worth any points. Why is he fight, trying to fight it? As then he lunges up blaze in hand, summoning them as he slices this little part clean in half. Doing a superhero landing. And one can see as he turns around, an explosion happens. Izuku's not looking back at it. Is that it? He hears. <coughs> hmm? Oh. Where did you get here? Wait, so you didn't? What? You, you, you didn't hide that thing to save me? I didn't even know you were here. You were not my priority. I just wanted to show everyone who they're up against. Why did you say it like that? Hmm? What do you mean? He sound kind of like a villain when you say like that. Nonsense. Anyway, can you get up? Uh, I, yeah, 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 I can, I can. As yeah, she trips and he's who catches her. I have to carry you. Uh, wait, wait, you you really don't. As he just throws her over his shoulder, he doesn't princess or bride carrier. He just just carries her around like a uh, luggage. She feels kind of embarrassed and pissed off, but he's like, "Next time, I'll be more careful, so I don't have to be saved by you." 
I can still drop you if I, if you want. Uh, no, thank you. Please continue with the carrying. As yes, recovery girl shows up. Izuku places this girl down. As she's about to say thank you, I was like, don't, don't worry about it. Wait, what's your name? Make it into UA, then I'll tell you. Him just walking off. And that's all she wrote. When he gets home, Inko did make him all his favorite foods. The only thing is, uh, he's a goof. He's just trying to be more. Izuku likes more cinnamon roll esque Izuku, at least for Inko. Because I think she, didn't deserve, she doesn't deserve any of his ire, if anything. Seriously. She's probably one of the few reasons why he hasn't either deleted himself or went completely batshit crazy insane. Who knows how Izuku would have acted if Inko was a uh, past tense. As they're waiting, Izuku is continuing his training, trying to get more efficient when it comes to using fire. And the chains. The blades are feeling kind of neglected and wondering, like, okay, so why are you going to use us? Huh? Huh. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't need to get sloppy with you guys, do I? The thing is, I I'll rather have to use you guys at all. You really think so? Yes. Right now, I don't plan on killing anyone. Oh, oh, sweet naive boy. You have no idea. There's always someone who deserves to die, no matter what realm, world, universe, blah blah blah, pantheon. <laughs> someone deserves to get axed. What? So, you know, there's someone who deserves to get, get themselves killed. Who knows? You might meet them when you least expect it. Yeah. You have a point. You've been right so far. And when I do, you'll be there. Exactly. We will dispense with justice. Precisely. Yeah. <sighs> You're made for great things, young Midoriya. Wonderful, great things. As yes, that is pretty much how that whole thing goes. When he does get his whole test scores, he did make it to first place, Bongo being second. Bongo seeing this, realizing, okay, so he does have a Word. That makes sense. That's the only reason why he could have beaten me. But for him to get a quirk so late, how, how why? It, it makes no sense. Let alone him being this powerful. So weird. Where is this? Whatever. I'll just have to train harder. I'll show them how it's done. First day of UA. It's yeah, kind of like how it would be in Canada. Like I said, Mizuku isn't all turned around or anything. He's just calm. He has a stone, stoic face. As soon as he does enter class 1A, he does see Bongo, but completely ignores him. He does see Ida, but completely ignores him. This is when someone just jumps on his back, but he freaks out 
and body slams her. He's like, what the hell is wrong with you? He's like, okay, that hurt. What? You? I... Seriously, you gotta be so mean. Uh... Okay. So... What you want? We had a deal. Uh huh. If I made a DUA, I get your name. <laughs> really? You, you. I'll I'll start first. My name is Amina Ashra. <sighs> Fine, whatever. My name is Izuku Midoriya. Nice to meet you again. Likewise. As yes, you can imagine. Everyone's okay, this guy's kind of violent, but at least he seems to have some manners. I mean, it's kind of her fault for just jumping on his back for no real reason, or to, just to be weird. So, <laughs> live and learn, I guess. As you can just imagine, Izuku, he's all stoic, being pretty much alright. Where's our teacher? Adela, still sleeping, just. Uh, <laughs> okay. Here, all your be informed about Cork Epic and just see what y'all can do. Oh yeah, be able to try your hardest or else you will get expelled. Aha, uh -huh. the one who scores the lowest gets expelled. Plain and simple. As yeah, everyone gulps at this, except you think it goes just like, is that all? Is that all you get? <laughs> Oh please! Really? That's a, that's all you? That's the best you can come up with? <laughs> oh, that, that's cute. As yeah, as they're changing, everyone can see Izuku's burn scars. Bargo, when he sees them, he's definitely shocked at this. So he gets a glance at them and wonders who. Who did that to you? Bakugo seeing the scar, the chain. I, uh, I didn't. I know I didn't do that. Excuse me. Everyone's looking at him. Like, what do you mean you didn't do that? I. <clears throat> Well, I mean, he said he used to bully me and use me to power up his quirk. But he didn't cause these scars. You did what? Well, I was a kid. But that didn't stop you from doing it when we were in middle school, either. Wait, you bullied him? Yeah, but well, I didn't do that. I didn't make those scars. As he had just remembers, like, Wait, are those part of your quirk? Uh, yes. Yes, they are. Oh, okay. Wait, uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, his quirk. Uh, during the exam, he manifested chains and when he sliced the zero pointer up, he summoned uh, two strange looking blades. Uh, now that I see the chains, chain uh, burn scars must be a side effect or at least something he developed over a course of time training. Am I uh, correct in that assumption? Yes. Yes, you are. 
<sighs> okay. Good. Okay. <sighs> so, any more questions about my scars? Because we're going to be late. Uh, no. <clears throat> no, 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 not at all, not at all. It's just, it seems like uh, they hurt when I first got them, yes. Even now I can feel the lingering pain from time to time. But, it's nothing. If anything, they helped me some ways, somehow. As yes, as you can imagine, Izuku giving at least a smidge of the potential strength and everything else that Creel has. I mean that, whew, just a smidge, not even 1%. It's like in the decimal system of how much strength Izuku is using compared to how much Kratos has displayed. So he's first on everything. As I is even more confused when he tries to nullify that quirk. To the point where, yeah, All Might is definitely staring, wondering, okay, let's see, wait, why? Wait, how's he? Just looking at Izawa's eyes, glowing, his hairs are floating. It's like, wait, Izawa used his quirk on him, but how is he still able to do that? What's. No, wait. That's. Is it? No. Yeah. All my starting to get even more special of Izuku. It's like, okay, so how in the hell is he. Is he naturally that strong? Or can Azar not take care of all the. every quirk he has or something? No, 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 that's not right. Something, something's off here. So, you can only imagine. When he does confront his ally, he's pretty much like, Well? Well, what? I saw you try to nullify his quirk. It didn't work, did it? No. I couldn't. Hmm. Can you explain how that is possible? You see, that's his natural strength in which he may or may not be using the quirk. Or what the powers he is using may not be a quirk at all. But that's impossible, isn't it? Hmm. Wait, what? Can you nullify mutant quirks? I believe I can make them at least weaker, but as far as fully nullifying them, I don't think so. I never trained that hard, let alone came across it. new quirks like that. Okay, so that might be it. Perhaps. <sighs> but it is strange about that kid. Then, oh well. Nothing to really worry about, I would hope. No, no, of course not. As now it is time for the whole Hills vs. Villains. Izuku, I'm going to keep the teams the same. When you see that Bogo is his opponent, he has a slight smirk. But also, it's like, oh, this is not gonna be even the most bit challenging. You may not say this out loud, but he's definitely thinking it. So, um, excuse me. 
Hmm? Looking at Rocco, what is it? It's a pleasure to be working with you. Hmm. Pleasure's all mine. So, you're Oraka. It's a zero gravity girl. So, if anything, actually, I have an idea when it comes to your quirk. R really? Yeah. If anything, you are going to be a very integral part in my plan here. As soon as it starts, Bakugo, being the way he is, he goes down there, is ready to throw hands with Izuku. He sees that rock is gone, but he does not care whatsoever. Only thing is, Izuku is all the more happy to throw them hands. He wants to smoke, and he has pretty much got some uh, issues to work through with Kazumakago. So you can imagine everyone's shock and horror as Izuku is wailing on Bakugo over and over and over again. He's not using fire, he's not using chains, no blades, anything. Just his raw power. Raw physical strength. That is all he's using to put the hurt on Bakugo to the point where Bakugo has one eye swollen shut. His arm is shaking. His legs are buckling on or his weight as he just lifts up his arm he's like are you trying to surrender? Bago pulls the pin and Izuku takes it he takes all that force in point blank range All Might is in complete shock and horror at the fact that Bago possibly just killed a student but when they see that Izuku is standing, you see that half of his face is gone. We can see his skull. As Bakugo is horrified at this, saying, wait, what have I done? As then they see as Izuku's face slowly starts to regenerate back. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Are you... You had me worried for a second that you were going to bitch out of this ass whooping. What? No, no, wait, wait. How would you? So that's what those gullets are for. Oh, I would have wondered. For a second there, I thought you were an idiot making your costume like this. It only looks like a... Wait. As then, Bago, out of sheer fear, pulls the other pin, and Izuku takes it again. All oh my is about to disqualify the villain team as they see Izuku on his knees, his skull fully shown, head down. But before All Might can say anything else, Izuku grabs Bakugo by the neck and starts slamming him from wall to wall, floor to ceiling. He smashes his face into a wall and starts dragging it. And then he steps on one of Bakugo's arms, breaking it clean through. Bakugo's screams can be heard throughout not only the building, but they can definitely hear it in the observation room. Is it all my supposed to disqualify Izuku on the hero team? Or I got the bomb. As, yeah, these are like... I... 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 What is this? What did we just watch? The sheer brutality. Well, Rocka gets back down to Izuku. She sees that his face 
parts of it are still gone and they're regenerating back slowly. She screams and starts throwing things at him. Go say monster, monster. It's like, okay, calm down, calm down. It's me, it's Izuku, your teammate. What happened to you? Boy, a Bakugo who's passed out due to shock and pain. He just... Yeah. Are, are you alright? Tis but a scratch. Th th that's more than a scratch. Are, are you sure? Uraka just holding on to his face as it regenerates back, feeling the straight up bone that is his skull and jaw. So we should take you to recovery, girl. No. How do you think she's going to react to seeing this? Just give me a second. He's been focusing as much as he can at the moment as it heals completely. See? Not, not even a scar left over. But as for this asshat, he just drapes Bongo over his shoulder and walks out. Hey, wait, 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 where are you going? Take him to a recovery girl. I broke his arm. And, hmm, I think a few ribs, maybe. Everyone is speechless. On one hand, yeah, what Bunko did was completely uncalled for. But considering the brutality that Izuku distributed the sheer savagery of Izuku's assault. They th they think that Bakugo was honest to God fearing for his life. Like he was fighting not to win. Not to just be Izuku but to just survive. That's he was terrified in fear for his life, so he thought this was the only way to really survive and stay alive in this case. Who knows? Hey, someone down the road, it would it would be. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. All my is actually contemplating expelling both Bakugo and Izuku for their harsh methods during a, just a little test. But if anything, like, uh, I don't know if I should, I don't know if, I mean, they're both all right, and luckily young Midoriya seems to be in good shape, but, ooh. I wonder if sure, I hate to see them as villains with that kind of power. When well, Cover Girl does finally get Bongo completely healed, she does ask, Huh, what happened to you though? At least your costume is burned to cinders. Eh. Eh. Nothing to worry about. I'm fine. How about those scars? Just a side effect of my quirk. At least one of them. Suku just walking off. Cover girls. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want your quirks. That's interesting. Very interesting. It's all my he does knock on recovery girl's door and ask how Bogo's doing and Well Luckily, he, uh, it's not too bad, you know what they consider, but what about the Midoriya boy, he seems, hmm, off, at least when it comes to his quirks, he doesn't really talk much about them, now does he, he knows that as, as well, yeah. I'm thinking 
I don't think it's anything to really worry about at the moment. I mean, we all have our secrets, don't we? You all might. Yeah. But I am really curious about the ones he's hiding. <laughs> oh, well, excuse me, but... Yeah, anything. If you feel like you should know, he might tell you. Who knows? Ugh. Yeah, you're right. But still. Aren't you at least a bit concerned? About what? Why should I be? It's just... This kid. What about him? It just seems as though he's... Huh. I don't know how to really describe it. Like he's been going through something. Who knows? Maybe he has. Wait. What's with that look, Toshi? Don't tell me you think he's... What? You think he's working for all for one, don't you? Uh, no, 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 of course not. Has it crossed my mind? Possibly, but... I, I wouldn't... It's okay, be suspicious. Believe me. Paranoia can be a good thing at times. But don't forget... If he is working with Alpha One, it may not be of his own wishes. No what kind of monster he is. Yeah. I I I do. So, um Gary Girl. What, what would you suggest I do? Have uh, faith. What? Just hope that this boy doesn't become a villain. If he does, who knows how devastating it could be. Someone... Who knows? Careful, he could be even a bigger threat than all for one. You don't have anything, just treat him like a regular student for now. As long as he, you know, doesn't uh, do anything out of the ordinary, doesn't break any rules, there should be nothing to worry about. Right? Yeah, 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 you're right. I mean, he's just a kid. Precisely. But seriously, how much damage could he really do? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a good point. I mean, I have one of the strongest quirks ever known. There's no way I could, uh, well, at least if you did have a strong core that could match mine, I had the experience on my side, right? Precisely. So you shouldn't be, at least be worried about some kid. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, uh, recovery girl. They really do know how set my mind at ease. Of course. What are friends for? Yeah.
Yeah. I'm just worried over nothing. I'm sure of it. That's the spirit. Uh, yes, this is where we shall end this part here. Oh, that was fun for me.